Dobré odpoledne, dámy a pánové. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I would like to thank the Museum of Art uh, for the possibility to present my paper and also for a long-term cooperation. In the autumn, Václav Cigler, Michal Motička and I, we had a uh, lecture, a paper about uh, our uh, long-term cooperation. That's why I titled my uh, presentation One Author, Two Discourses and Their Intersections. It was based on the school, Václav Cigler School, uh, which uh, he founded in uh, 1965 in Bratislava. Uh, it was co called Glass in Architecture. And Václav Cigler was the head of the studio until 1979. I dealt in my uh, dissertation work, I dealt um, with uh, the question whether we can interpret uh, the method of teaching of Václav Ziegler, whether we can interpret his uh, way of thinking. So in the end, I would like to present my research. Václav Ziegler uh, says, hello. And he uh, apologizes, he would love to be here. He soon, he will, it will be his uh, 87th uh, birthday. Uh, and that's why he tries to eliminate travel as much as possible. This is his brief uh, curriculum. Uh, most important thing is that he is a creator world-renowned author of, or artist. Uh, um, he had uh, used constructive tendencies, minimalism, land art, uh, light and kinetic uh, sculpture. He's uh, denominated as a glass maker or glass uh, making artist. He's also a, a great visionary. Mm. I work with Václav, uh, I have worked with Václav for 13 years and we try to present his uh, thinking and his uh, overlaps into other uh, areas. In 1951 to 57, he studied uh, the um, University uh, of Art, uh, Industrial Art in Prague uh, with Professor Josef Kaplitsky. Let me read a poem which has not been published yet. Václav Ziegler also uh, presents himself in words, in poems, which are very personal. I would like to, also, this is also very personal. Um, Ziegler's uh, classmates were Vladimir Kopecký, uh, Adriana Šimotová, Zdena Strobachová. They were very, a very friendly uh, group. Um, if they, they still do, if they, those that haven't died yet. It was a very, on a very personal level and their work overlapped uh, uh, the range of work of the student. The exceptional relationship between uh, teacher and student uh, is represented by this poem. Uh, has anyone told me who wanted to create a person, a man uh, responsible for their work? When you fill a scheme with life, you create work. And uh, so I deschematized and revived, but today I know what I only knew subconsciously that even the model, the inner structure, in its basic uh, form, in the form of its uh, bearing structures, uh, lines and curves, which uh, cross, uh, go across the space, they are the basic expression of uh, relationships, uh, the meanings, contents. And uh, in the borderline of an element, it's the synthesis of all which is behind, which is uh, the nat uh, human nature. 
uh, leaf of grass, uh, eyes, palms, uh, everything that's a network or um, an axis. I think this poem illustrates the whole uh, work uh, of Václav Cigler. So a brief uh, curriculum. Oh, sorry, a brief uh, um, curriculum vitae. Uh, it's focused on uh, the year 1979. I would like to um, mention the first uh, solo exhibition uh, in the Václav Špala uh, Gallery. The curator was uh, Indri Chalupecky and then also very uh, uh, important exhibition in uh, uh, Rotterdam, uh, which was the first important exhibition uh, in uh, abroad. And also the uh, Professor Kaplitsky School uh, was invited to many uh, exhibitions, world exhibitions, for example, uh, Milan uh, Triennial. 1957 or the Brussels exhibition. These were uh, exceptional world exhibitions. I am sorry. In 1965, um, uh, the Bratislava School of Art decided to establish a glass studio and Václav Ziegler was uh, invited uh, to, to work on it. He called his um, studio Glass in Architecture. He was 36 years old uh, when he started working as a head of a studio that hadn't existed before. He wrote uh, the program of the school in these words. I would like to read this to you because I think it's very present. Um, art schools differ from normal schools, especially in the character of work. Professional education is not based on the amount of knowledge, but especially on uh, developing creative uh, thinking. School is a laboratory of thinking, experimental workshop, an environment of self-knowledge. Uh, school is self, uh, pro probing. Uh, it's not uh, teaching or learning. You can only uh, learn a trade, but uh, uh, creative work is uh, like poetry. An artist has to perceive with all his or her personality. In situation, he's in a situation of uh, constant uh, checking, it's a creative process uh, of uh, embellishing uh, reality, uh, poet bringing poetry into reality. It's uh, the perceived and also uh, the thought reality. It represents uh, searching for reality and decoding keys for its uh, um, discovery. School should uh, free you from habits and cliches. Uh, it is uh, a probe uh, into the feelings of students. Art is a never-ending process of knowledge. Uh, the, the art school in Bratislava was established in 1949 by the Slovak National Committee and uh, in this po uh, post-war transformation, many institutions were established in Slovakia. Uh, the uh, music school, uh, Slovak National Gallery, uh, the municipal theater. Uh, we can mention Jan Želipský, Jan Murdoch, uh, Petr Matejka, and uh, Jiří Kotalík, Vojtěch Volavka, Zdena Volavka, Skořepko. Václav Zikman were teachers uh, of uh, art, history, and aesthetics. 
they created a, a department of uh, historical subjects. Václav Ziegler at this time participated at world uh, exhibitions or shows, such as uh, Expo 58 in Brussels, Mil uh, the Triennial in Milano, uh, or the Corning Museum in 1959, 1961 in Amsterdam, Gementem Museum in Wroclaw, Uh, the Museum of Contemporary Crafts uh, in New York, 1964. 1965, uh, based on recommendation by Stanislav Libensky, Indri Chalupecky, and Karel Hetes, uh, he accepted, he was appointed uh, the rector of uh, University of Arts in Bratislava. Uh, I'm sorry, Rudolf Přibysh was the rector, uh, became director, and Václav Ziegler was the head of, uh, uh, in the new uh, area of study. Um, he uh, started to work in Bratislava uh, in 1979. Uh, in, he dealt with glass in architecture. And um, he divided our glass into uh, um, cha um, changing uh, the uh, the space, architectural space, and filling architectural space. He also uh, spoke about a conceptual uh, approach. Um, he built um, operation of uh, demanding technical equipment uh, necessary for um, production of glass. Uh, and he uh, organized exhibitions. Um, I would like to, uh, for context, I would like to show you a view of the studio, uh, Václav Ziegler studio, uh, and a view of Art Institute in Chicago in the same time when Robert Morris uh, uh, gave lectures to his students, uh, it was something new. Uh, he, uh, is turned, he turned his back to his students. And James Atkins in his book, uh, Why You Cannot Teach Art, uh, it's a, a reminiscence to Bauhaus. Uh, this was what the um, lesson, lessons at art schools looked like. And he commented uh, the situation that art schools are obsolete. Uh, the teacher wants to say something to his students uh, and or her students, and they cannot um, express it uh, the correct way. Here, I would like to document a diploma work uh, by Ladislav Pagáč. Just to give you context, it, uh, this is what Ziegler appreciated, one of the um, students appreciated most by Ziegler. Uh, it's very minimalistic. Uh, it's closer to the Chicago Art School rather than Slovakia Art School. And Ladislav Pagáč, uh, we can ask the question, what way would Ladislav Pagáč work if he was allowed to travel? Václav Ziegler, uh, when he first met his students, uh, he told uh, them, forget everything that you learned. It's not that it would be useless, but uh, it would, if you forget, it will make you free. You have to filter everything through your own uh, sieve. Uh, you have to be yourselves. Art is creating and discovering your soul. He uh, considered every student to be um, a personality. Ziegler uh, was... Uh, Ziegler thought that a teacher must find the nature of each student. And this is true for design as well as uh, for creating art. 
this was very demanding uh, in the study of uh, at the Faculty of Architecture. It was uh, industrial glass, uh, lighting, glass for lighting, and also creation of artworks. Uh, the workshops uh, were uh, equipped especially for cold works uh, with uh, glass. The technically uh, demanding processes could be tested, or the students could try the processes in uh, manufacturing companies. For example, Meopta Bratislava. The cooperation was um, very beneficial on both parts. For students, students could get acquainted with new technologies, and companies could assign tasks to uh, the school. Another uh, level of teaching was uh, using the mosaic, uh, glass in mosaic, uh, in uh, artworks which were part of architecture. Uh, this was based in the title of the department. They uh, dealt with it in traditional technologies also. Um, they also worked with the Department of Architecture um, and their programs uh, were interfaced. An important form of uh, education was uh, where competitions um, opened by manufacturing companies and also organizing of exhibitions, um, domestic and also exhibitions abroad. The basic vision of Ziegler was to create an uh, artistic and technical center. He asked Josef Martinek uh, and architect Dusan Kuzma, and they um, mm, designed the project as their diploma thesis. Uh, he designed a complex uh, uh, of pavilions and um, after consultations with architects and professionals uh, uh, and from the Association of uh, uh, Visual Artists, uh, uh, the glassworks uh, in Dubravce uh, gave land and um, um, networks, um, industrial networks. And this center was intended to be a school of design and a museum. This great uh, design was not implemented in the end. Uh, it didn't find, uh, it wasn't uh, accepted by um, people in power. Here we can mention again the book Art School. Uh, it's from Steve Vadov, uh, one of the main points is to uh, fulfill the needs of artistic schools. The point is to make uh, it actual. We were looking at the method used by uh, Ziegler and um, Michal Motička. Uh, said that his method is uh, cannot be used again. Uh, there is a certain portion of belief. There is a naivism. Uh, teaching is not only about art. Uh, you also have to uh, be uh, artistically uh, talented. Uh, Tiller is uh, indeed really special, but uh, he is not a special teacher. Uh, his uh, experience was uh, um, crucial. His, uh, the, the point that Tiller was special was uh, um, anchored in the point that uh, he uh, was able to see how to use the technology which is not arti artistic at all. He was able to experiment and look for limits. He was able to uh, set the conditions for the whole studio. We can see uh, how he was able to um, make up the plan for the whole project into the tiniest details. The art school of uh, in Bratislava um, used his techniques up to 2004. 
When he was teaching in Bratislava, uh, he was uh, interested in drawing, uh, jewelry making, um, clothes making, and uh, light design, uh, also with interactive light systems. He created a unique work which is uh, yet still not uh, fully uh, understood. Uh, when we uh, published a uh, book, uh, we uh, divided into uh, several parts, like uh, human, water, uh, glass, and um, light. I would also like to mention the drawings of uh, Mr. Ziegler. You can see the drawings uh, that are based on thoughts. Uh, these are special projects which are like sections into nature filled with water or light. Here we can see his enthusiasm uh, which is connected to uh, the research in outer space. He also was one of the uh, publishers of uh, uh, the journal which was concerned with uh, space. He also came up with some ideas of vertical structures in uh, housing uh, and travels to space so using small um, space planes. We can see some um, projects that are very utopy. So I uh, will go a bit faster. You can see his uh, drafts from 60s. Also some um, um, drafts uh, that represent nature as an uh, imprint of fingers or lips. This is a model that uh, could be used uh, on highways or uh, a cut of optical glass. As I said before, uh, Vasa Sigler was uh, the first one who uh, found out uh, the technique of uh, work with optical glass together with Jan Svoboda. We can see here also uh, like uh, light systems and illuminated objects in Slovak National Theater. This uh, round object has uh, two meters, and it was a part of a competition um, when uh, Slovak National Theatre wanted to have some um, light systems, and Václav Stigler designed this round object that uh, was used to illuminate the theater and he wanted to this uh, front object to uh, so-called breathe. There are 2,400 uh, light bulbs and there were uh, 12 uh, million variations of usage of light. Uh, the light uh, in the National Theatre of Slovakia was uh, uh, said to be a um, national monument. Here we can see another projects that are uh, unfortunately destroyed. Also some light systems and uh, the new building of uh, Slovak um, government. Um, here's also a illuminated object that reacted to uh, passerby in the tube underground in uh, Prague. And uh, there was uh, another draft uh, for saving energy 
uh, so this object was uh, put away. But this is one of the most important projects of Václav Ciglar. Uh, there were some examples of jewelry. I, I'm sorry, I, I'm, I ran out of my time, so I won't read you another poem. Uh, now, shortly about uh, my research. Uh, it was a discourse analysis. The method uh, that was um, um, used uh, to evaluate the uh, school of Václav uh, Ziegler for the scheme of the event. We used the uh, model of uh, electromagnetic uh, coil that uh, explains the concept of uh, school of Václav Ziegler. When compared with philosophy of uh, Jan Patočka and other, uh, there are uh, some principles that are uh, similar. Um, there is how he described the concept of, of the event uh, as, uh, as defined by uh, Václav Petriček. And the conclusion of our research is that uh, a uh, uh, human is unique, uh, art is uh, unique and uh, cannot be repeated. Education of uh, artwork has to be open and uh, nowadays the pedagogical uh, and artistic work of Václav Ciglar is uh, unique and art uh, as such as, uh, as uh, the same as think thinking is uh, dependent on body that means that uh, uh, the structures that we use uh, when uh, creating new conceptual system uh, stem from uh, bodily experiences that put these things into context um, Vasa Ciglar had to leave in 1979 so, uh, from 1970s, when uh, Jan Kulich uh, became a rector, he was pushed to leave. And uh, when someone told that he signed the pamphlet 2000 words, uh, people said that uh, he should better leave his post and uh, some of his friends dedicated his uh, th this book to Václav Ziegler uh, here we can see Desider Todd or Daniel Fischer or Vladimir Kordos Josef Jankovic and Otis Laubert Melan Pašteka, Igor Minárik, Igor Minárik Marian Mudroch, Rudolf Fila, Marian Meškon, Štěpán Palán, Štěpán Palán Juraj, Gavula, Juraj Gavula, Klára Bočkajová, Klára Bočkajová Milan, Bočkaj, Milan Bočkaj, a ještě jednou Juraj Gavula. And once more Juraj Gavula. Thank you.